Star Liquor Compatriots. It's that time of week again. Free Beer Friday. Today we're here with Megan from Tallgrass. Hey, Megan. Hey, how's it going? Oh, it's going. <laughs> we love your beer. Thank you. Tall I boys. Like it. <laughs> and it's from Manhattan, Kansas, right? Absolutely. Sweet. Well, how long has it been around? How long has Tallgrass been around? Uh, we actually celebrate our five year anniversary this coming Saturday. So uh, it's the 25th. Uh, so we're about, like I said, five years old. Pretty young brewery still. So. I bet you're waiting for that golden anniversary. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> we know there's a large variety of good craft beer in Wisconsin. Um, what's the craft beer scene like in Kansas? It's getting better. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's not very many craft breweries yet in Kansas. We've got Tallgrass, um, Free States, and Lawrence. There's quite a few number of, uh, you know, pretty solid brew pubs and stuff like that. I mean, you got Boulevard, but that's technically Missouri, I believe. Kansas City, Missouri. <laughs> um... So it's, but they do have a lot of good craft beer distributed there. Yeah. So you're seeing a lot of really solid brands, especially from the, the West Coast. You know, unfortunately, that we don't see up here in Wisconsin yet. Firestone Walker's there. And, uh, Interesting. So, yeah. Why do you think that they get, um, can, like, Kansas gets it first? You know, it just, it all depends. I think um, each brewery has their own rhyme and reason on why they open markets at this, you know, the times that they do. Yeah. So... I don't know. Maybe we'll never see him up here. I Maybe. Hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. But craft beer is just so rampant. I mean, we have so many in Wisconsin. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, like, your packaging. Look at this. It's amazing. It's beautiful. And I know that we talked about this earlier, but it really makes star, our tall grass stand out. Um, do you know anything about the design? Uh, we have a couple of different guys that do some designs for us. Um, I believe one of our sales guys is a graphic designer, and so he's helped out a lot with a lot of the POS and, um, you know, help coming up with the, the creative on um, the can designs. But we definitely want him to stand out in the stores. You know, I mean, you see the 8-bit can. Yeah. And people instantly zoom into that, especially if you grew up in the, you know, that era where you're playing the Pac-Man videos and well, everything like that. Well, even kids who like the throwback retro stuff, I heard some, they couldn't have been over 23 yeah. the other day being like, this looks awesome! <laughs> and I was like, yeah. I mean, it, it is a huge selling point. It's a huge selling point. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, the popularity of canned beer is really on the rise. I only drink canned beer. Not really. That's kind of a lie. But, you know, I prefer to find all of my canned beer, or all my beer in cans. Um, was Tallgrass's decision to use cans environmental based on beer quality or strictly marketing? Um, you know, it wasn't... From what I've been told, our, our owner actually told me the story when I was down in Kansas the last time. Uh, we started bottling originally, but within about six months, decided to go to cans because a couple of uh, you know loyal customers down in Kansas had mentioned, you know, it's really hard to recycle bottles in Kansas for hmm. some reason. Interesting. Um, you know, and this one guy's like, hey, I've got 25 cases of empties. Can I give them back to you guys? There's really not a way for us to reuse those safely, and you know, I mean, if you're a home brewer, you can reuse bottles like that. But for a commercial brewery, you really can't do that on a safe basis. So, um, you know, we did a lot of research on on canning and discovered it is a lot better for the beer. Zero light gets to it, zero oxygen gets to it. Um, you know, the freshness is a lot longer, so we have a really nice uh, about 180 day shelf life. Oh yeah. Uh, for the beer, which is great, even for a big hoppy beer like Oasis. Uh, it's not going to lose that hop quality to it. Um, you know, and then you get into the environmental factor where cans are a lot better, a lot easier to recycle. They're a lot lighter for us to ship. Um, the, uh, the materials are a lot cheaper, actually, which keeps the cost down to the customers. Mm -hmm. You can take cans a lot more places than you can yeah. take bottles. Uh, I mean, I could go on for about an hour on why I think cans are better. Um, and it seems like... It seems like cans are uh, kind of becoming that new trend. A lot of breweries are kind of hopping on board with that. We've seen it with New Belgium and Sierra Nevada. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's going to be it's going to be great. It's going to really um, eliminate that stigma that canned beer has. No, I'm excited about that. And they're lined, right? So there's no chance for like an aluminum flavor. Absolutely, yeah. There's an epoxy lining in the inside the cans, so you know you're not going to be able to taste any difference from the Velvet Rooster as you would in a nice clean tap line. <laughs> um, you know, if you compare the two. Right. So. That's really great. I am all for cans. Yeah. Um, is Tallgrass bringing anything new to Madison we should be looking out for? Uh, hopefully. Um, if you're at the Great Taste, we had our experimental Area 51 IPA. Uh, it went very quickly. <laughs> um, uh, but it's a nice, um, almost West Coast style IPA. 
So we're kind of in the test batches of that, crossing our fingers. We're going to see that around spring. Oh, um, great. And then also we've been working on a, a vanilla bean buffalo sweat oh. as a, a winter seasonal. So Well, tell us about the buffalo sweat. That just won some awards, didn't it? Yeah, the buffalo sweat did. It actually was just voted the number one oatmeal stout in the country, uh, which we're super excited about. Took home a gold at the U.S. Beer Open a couple of weeks ago. Um, yeah, it's just such a very unique stout. Um, people get really surprised when they taste it. It is very surprising. Yeah. I like to let mine sit out a little longer, <laughs> but yeah, I definitely agree. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a, it's a great sessionable stout. Yeah. So uh, this is your first tasting at Star. How'd it go? I think it went great. Yeah. A lot of good customers, and it seemed like we had to refill that little cooler a couple times, which is always yeah, good. Yeah, we did. Yeah. <laughs> So, well, thank uh, you so much. Yeah, no, thank you. Yeah, and as remember, guys, every Friday, free beer from 4 to 7. Thanks for shopping at Star Liquor, and thank you so much, Megan. All right, cheers. Cheers.